Hi, this is Gail from Life Splatters, and this is the piece I called Weeping Willow. Now, it started out to be uh, something else. I was supposed to be using pink, blue, and yellow for an upcoming collaboration. And I was testing out uh, different blues and yellows together. And as I worked on this one, I didn't feel I wanted to put that pink in there because these two colors looked so pretty together. So I flooded the canvas with white uh, Artist Loft Flow acrylic mixed with Floetrol and water. And uh, it's a uh, medium to thin consistency. I just want a nice base coat so my paints will move. My paint colors are the Treasure Gold Blue, which I think is called Aquamarine. And it is my uh, 24 karat gold. And that thicker ribbon of it is actually Golden's High Flow Iridescent Gold. And I'm going to do a great big schmear over it using the Black Amsterdam formula, which is one part paint, four parts US Floetrol, putting it on the back of a cake server and very carefully smearing it over the surface of the paint, which gives all that pretty lacing and cells.
I'm really not pleased with this composition. I don't know what it's supposed to be looking for, but I'm going to persist. Here's a close-up of what the beautiful great big schmears do. They, they just create the most pretty lacing, and in this case I got a great deal of movement. Now I'm, I added more of the blue paint over top of the Golden's High Flow Iridescent Gold, and now I'm smearing over. And actually you get a really pretty softening uh, due to the uh, High Flow. Add a little bit more of the Golden's High Flow and I'm going to give it a tilt and let, let it run down. At this point I really don't know uh, what I'm aiming for. I'm not loving the composition uh, but I'm going to continue to work with the paints and maybe I can turn it into something uh, pretty.
I've uh, continued to do Great Big Spears. In this case, I've added uh, some white Amsterdam formula. And uh, that created some really pretty large cells in that area. The, this upper portion of the canvas is starting to look big, better. But I still don't know what this thing is coming down on the right side. Uh, it was the right, I poured it there right from the start and it just looks awkward. And uh, the more I look at this, uh, the more I think I have to turn it into a tree. Like that, that piece coming down is just distracting to me. I could have scraped it off and put white paint there and continued with this pretty flowing abstract. But uh, I persist with this and eventually start working on that trunk of the tree. I often take uh, some video footage of the details and walk away from the painting for a while. And when I look at them on my phone, where I've recorded them, it gives me a better concept of what I'm working with. This upper area is really very pretty. The colors have blended nicely. There's some very pretty lacing in there. Uh, I like the interest of these little sort of drips that come down. Uh, I think this area is quite nice. And again, it's this uh, vertical trunk, which is just, uh, it's just awkward in my eye. So now I'm going to concentrate on creating a better composition around what I do have. So I've decided I'm going to turn this into uh, a weeping willow.
So I begin working on the branches. I add some of the blue and the gold, and I'm gonna do some great big smears uh, over them with the black. And you'll see where we now have branches that are starting to appear. So this is now looking more balanced to me. I thickened the trunk, put uh, sort of some roots down at the bottom, and now I've got much stronger suggestion of branches of trees. And I'm gonna continue and sort of build this tree. I carry the paints down into the trunk, which ends up uh, making it look quite a bit like bark. Uh, the trunk turned out very, very interestingly. But this, I guess, is what you could say, how to build a tree. I keep adding little smears and uh, touching up with the palette knife and creating the really flowing details to this tree. Uh, it's coming together quite nicely and I think the balance is much better now. It needed a little more heaviness uh, in the tree and uh, I'm starting to be more pleased with it. All in all, this painting took about an hour with uh, all the changes and the additions and just uh, uh, sort of turning it into something. And uh, here are all the pretty little bits. You can see there's some very nice uh, lacing. There's some cells. I love how these two colors look together. Uh, it did turn out to be a tree 
the uh, texture in the trunk is really quite effective. And see the little bird sitting there uh, on the root of the tree? It looks like a little nut hash. And it happened accidentally, and I left it there. And it's uh, just a sweet little bird sitting on the tree. Uh, I like the movement. I like that some of the black uh, stayed true and didn't sink into the paint. So you have a, a bit more contrast to lead your eye around. I learned something with every painting and uh, this one taught me that you may start out with one idea but the paint is going to take you in another direction and sometimes it's just best to go with that and I ended up with a, a tree which I do really like I love the uh, movement in the branches the, the details in the trunk and down at the bottom, there's uh, a bird sitting on the root of the tree. And so, I guess, it, I just want to say, stick with it. Uh, keep working until your eye tells you that you've got uh, the right balance in the painting. So let's, uh, let's keep playing with pigments and making beautiful things. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for all your kind comments and support, your likes, and for subscribing. I really do appreciate uh, everything that you say. Uh, so I, I would like you to stay well and uh, keep taking care of yourself and uh, make something beautiful. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye.